All right, guys, now we're going to work on one of our best known, but one of the easiest sandwiches that we make, which is our meatloaf sandwich. So we're going to throw down two pieces of wheat berry bread, wheat berry. Once again, go on a cross pattern as light as we can with the butter. Now, this wheat berry bread cooks pretty quickly, so we don't have a ton of time for this sandwich. In comparison, like a grilled cheese takes about five minutes. This sandwich will really take only about three minutes or so. So next to the wheat berry bread, we're going to throw down two pieces of our sliced meatloaf from the pan. We make this meatloaf in-house. We'll teach you how to do that, but then we put a press on the meatloaf so we get some nice grill, nice sear on that. Um, while we're cooking, we're gonna cook one side of it, then we're gonna flip it. So what we're gonna do is just kind of build the meatloaf sandwich on the grill. There's nothing from the cold pan that goes on the meatloaf sandwich. So we're just waiting for the bread to cook, waiting for a little cheese to melt, and the cheese is gonna melt both on the bread and by putting the hot meatloaf on it. Then the other thing that's gonna go on here is the, um, the spicy ketchup on both sides of the bread. Meatloaf is a little drier than a lot of the other meats, so we go ahead and put ketchup on both sides of the bread, which we don't always do any aioli on both sides of the bread, but this one we do. Um, and then, um, then we're gonna do cheese and onion strings, so for French onion strings, kind of like the kind you get on green bean casserole at Thanksgiving, if you will. So we're just waiting for the underside of that bread to toast. Once again, there's no butter on it. We're just waiting for it to crisp up a little bit. So I'm gonna move that meatloaf over so I just have time to turn that bread over and swirl it around a little bit to make sure we get the liquid margarine all the way to the edge. Now we're not gonna turn it back over again so we can go ahead and build the sandwich on the grill. So we put the, put the spicy ketchup on both sides of it, not drenching it in ketchup, but enough on both sides that we get a nice bite of it with every, um, every bite of the meatloaf. Put about two and a half, three ounces of shredded sharp cheddar cheese on there. Once again, this is a sandwich that's not like a grilled cheese where we want the meatloaf to, we want the cheese to melt but we don't want it to melt all the way like a grilled cheese. And then I just put two ounces of onion strings on the top there. So we're just really building the whole sandwich on the grill. To flip over, you can see there's some color um, and some searing going on in the meatloaf. So the meatloaf's nice and warm. It's a decent size cut, but it's not super, super thick. You know, we don't have burgers and fries at our restaurant. So this is kind of what we consider our hamburger, our ground beef, um, you know, on a bun with ketchup kind of sandwich. There's other ways that people eat it. They eat it with... Um, pickles sometimes they eat it with mayo sometimes but this is our most traditional serving of what it looks like i think i said this before but that wheat berry bread does cook pretty quickly so there's not a not gonna be sudden you can already see you're already getting that yellow color that brown color on it so there's not a not a lot of time to walk away and do a lot of other things while you're doing this you want to get that meatloaf heated up as quickly as possible because this bread can turn um, faster than a lot of the other breads so that meatloaf should be about done. We're getting to the point, uh, about a minute down, a minute and a half down is all you really need for the meatloaf. Sitting there, especially when it's got that press on it. It's gonna be a nice, um, nice color, nice uh, crisp on the outside of it. We're just gonna stack one side. Uh, we're gonna turn it horizontally, stack or vertically, stack one side on one side of the bread, one side on the other, and then try to cut it in the middle so there's a whole slice of meatloaf down each side of the bread. So that's good enough. You see the brown color on the bread gonna flip that over right on the grill and take it off set it down and all we do is cut it in half everything that's on there oh we do salt and pepper it we're gonna salt always salt and pepper the meat before we send it out with a meatloaf like that add a little salt and pepper cut it in half and then as you see the profile it's just a nice thick sandwich with uh, those onion strings that ketchup and that cheese enjoy